Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, with the infamous Carolina Fort Worth fraudster, as she witnesses the arrest, well, another arrest, of Manuel Mata. Over six traffic warrants. Man, this guy just, he just can't stay out of trouble, can he? Well, anyway, it's Fort Worth herself just can't stop complaining about it after the fact either. So, Miss Fort Worth, just uh, live with the facts that you and your friends are nothing but a bunch of scumbags, okay? And just go from there. Just own it, okay? Just own that fact that you're nothing but a bunch of ignoramuses and scumbags. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Who? Which one? The guy over there with the hat on. No, he's the white settlement dude. No, the one over there, Manuel Mata. Oh, yes, Manuel Mata. Okay, he's under arrest. Why? Come on, watch. No, why? You didn't. Why? He's got warrants. Come on. No, he doesn't. We took care of him. We took care of him. I just confirmed him. No, you, you need to confirm him again because we took care of them. For what? We took care of him. We took care of the warrants. Okay, since you say that, uh, that you've already taken care of him, I guess we should trust your word. Hey, officer, uh, can you go ahead and let that uh, perfectly innocent man go free? Because we have a frauditor over here that says... They already took care of it for them, so... Oh, wait, that's not how it works at all. Sorry, my bad. For what? Yeah. We, we all took, we took care of those warrants. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's tickets. You act like you made a big deal. No, like sir. you made the biggest drug. Of hey, buddy, buddy. You're still going to get a complaint on you for violating yes, our rights. Yes, I right. understand that. You understand retaliation? Yes, sir, I understand okay. that. Is That's that all I'm saying. Yes, you it is. Take care of your yes, it is. We I have. We don't have any warrants. Yeah, Manuel Mata is a fine pillar of the community with absolutely no criminal history whatsoever. He has no warrants out for his arrest. Absolutely none. Oh, wait, he has them? Never mind. Traffic to, uh, traffic stop was I involved in that you ran my name. You were standing here, and I know who you are from TV. Oh, thank you. From thank TV. you. Retaliation. It's beautiful. Another, another 1983. Well, traffic tickets, tickets from when? This won't mess with your bond. From when? I know it won't. I know it won't. Did you from know what they're going to do? What traffic tickets? You they're going to let you walk out the door. Exactly. They will. Because this is all retaliation. You can't record anymore. Yeah. Give it, give it to her, too. Yeah. yeah. All my shit. I don't trust none of you motherfuckers. Especially you, retaliatory mother. Sir, you have yes, warrants. You it you doesn't matter. Yes, I yes, do. you can have discretion. We took care of them. Show was so cool until... we, no, we took care of them. We took care of the warrants. Was on TV. We took care of the warrants. That's how you are. We took care of the warrants. No, you didn't. What, what's, what traffic warrants? You should have. But what is it? There's six of them. For what? They're not for you. I can't tell you. Oh, well, did you came over and bragged to me that you were getting them on warrants, so you can't tell me which traffic no, warrants? I didn't say that. I didn't what? say that. I said you need to record isn't this it, police But isn't it public knowledge? Sure. What? Which warrants are they? You can... Because I know we took care of them all. Him. He doesn't know. Because we took care of them on his last... Yes, on the last... Uh... Don't you have discretion? Hey! Can't you dis I mean, isn't... You're, you're I do have discretion. But he's a prick. Yeah, Karen, I don't think calling the officer names will help the situation out one bit. It's certainly not going to get Manuel out of those handcuffs. No, he has warrants for his arrest. He so hasn't taken care of them. What kind of warrants? Um, That's not warrants. Traffic warrants. Tra he doesn't have a... What do you mean a traffic warrant? I don't know. You better check. I did already. I called down there and confirmed him while he stood there. Well, then how come he got out of... How come, TV. He, how come he got out of jail? A violation, though? How come he... You have the right to be secure in your paper and your fix? In your person? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm just, it's just a question. Yeah. You are a prick. Why do you act like that? Why do you I act like what? pompous ass? He like a pompous ass. But, but you're acting but you're acting really like a pompous ass. This is why the community doesn't like you. Sorry, I hate, I hate to break it to you, Karen, but uh, you're projecting your faults onto him. You are the pompous ass in this case. And uh, the community does not uh, like frauditors. They don't mind the officers so much. But you assholes, on the other hand, you're an entirely different story. They don't like you too much. Because of the way you speak to people and their condescending tone. You should work on that. 
I already asked. When's the last time? Can I ask you a question? When's the, you all when's the, the time? last time you falsified a police report? We, when's the last time you got tested for drugs? When's the last time you beat up your wife? You know, 90% of y'all beat up wives, so when's the last time you did that? My husband. So oh, you're gay? You just, you Are you gay? Oh, you're gay? You walk away. Are you gay? He's one walking away. You don't even know. Well, you're, you're telling, you're, you're, you're gay? <laughs> he told me he was gay. He did. Wow, way to lose focus there, Karen. You were focused entirely on the uh, arrest of your buddy over there. But when the officer proclaimed that he may be gay, and you decided to focus in on that, which shows a lot about your personality right there, that not only are you a frauditor, that you're possibly a total bigot as well. He's gay! I stood up to him. Huh? I stood up to him. Oh, he's the one walking away. I know. He's the one that walks away. Why'd you walk away? Why'd you walk away, mister? Mister... Somebody was arrested. What tickets do you have? What tickets... You know what? I bet you the white settlement guy will tell us what tickets they are. Huh? I bet the white settlement guy will tell us. Oh, he's not Yeah, you threatened me with arrest when you couldn't. No, no, you couldn't. Yeah, exactly. Because it's retaliatory. Retaliatory, big time. Retaliatory. That's a 1983 uh, federal lawsuit. Look how proud you are. Of what? Of what crime did you get off the street? Well, you know, you got off the He's so condescending and rude. And he doesn't, he beats his husband up every night. He says he beats his husband. No, sir, they're not. Oh, now you're just putting words in his mouth now. I mean, come on, he never said that. You're the one that pulled that statistic out of your ass about 90% of the cops beating up their spouses. That's on you, not on him. You got a drunk driver and somebody with, how, do you, how does he have tickets? I don't know. Good job. Clap, 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 clap. Are you really gay? It's none of your business. Well, you just told me you said you have a husband. So? So does that mean you're gay? It's 2023. What does that mean? So does that mean you're gay? Well, do we have, we need to have some more gay people. But I thought gay people were nicer. We need to have more gay people, huh? And gay people are supposed to be nicer. Uh, where did you get that little uh, bit from? I uh, mean, some of the gay people that I've met uh, can be just as mean and nasty as a straight person. Personalities run the whole spectrum within the gay community. Thought so. Yeah. Man, you would be surprised. Yeah, I can tell you're prick. <laughs> so can you tell me what, what the traffic tickets were for? I don't know. How come they let him out of jail last week if he had traffic ticket warrants? You better check. He's famous. Yeah, but he's been on but, TV. But yeah, he's been on TV. So have I. But you haven't. Yeah, I have. I've been on your show. Oh yeah, that's right. When you're beating up the homeless guy that had asthma, I remember that. No, that wasn't it. Yeah, that was it. Oh, when? You weren't the guy that was the, the guy that was beating you up the homeless guy that had asthma. No. Oh, when when did I have I'm, you? Now I'm embarrassed. Are you talking about over there in Lancaster? No. Are you talking about over there by the QT where the guy was laying on the ground no, with Riverside. asthma? Riverside. I don't remember. You were there. Riverside? Oh my goodness. And then in the stockyards? And then the one time on Henderson? Henderson. And you don't remember me? My goodness. No. Well, I'm internet famous. I appreciate but it. But you better check your thing again because he just got out of jail last week and they wouldn't have let him out if he had warrants. Would they? Better check. Hey, if you ever checking him in, you guys better check for those warrants again because we just got him out of jail last we week. Oh yeah, rest of last week? Yeah, sure. He's definitely a pillar of the community. A pillar of the frauding community, that's for sure. Another 50 arrests said he could win the uh, Chile de Castro uh, Frauditor of the Year Award. Yo, what's going on, Playboy? And well, there you have it, folks. I mean, Karen goes on for a couple more minutes on a rant about how this is unfair and everything like that. But you know what? I get tired of listening to that uh, mouth of hers. So I'm just going to cut it short on her end because, you know what, I got to do it every once in a while. I got to cut these frauditors short. But seriously, though, uh, come on, Manuel, how many more arrests are you going to have in your lifetime? 
When are you going to decide that it's not worth it anymore? Perhaps never. Perhaps you'll uh, spend the rest of your life getting out of jail and uh, and wind up in a homeless shelter when you get old and decrepit and can't do anything for yourself anymore. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.